Just Give Me a Reason by Pink, featuring Nate Roos or Russ, however you say his name, uh, is a little bit difficult, so you're going to have to prepare yourself. But the introduction, which is the first part I'm going to show you, sounds like this. That's just going to be the first part that we learn, all right? So the good news is that lots of these parts get reused throughout the song. So it's not like a waste to just learn one part, but there are a lot of parts. <laughs> all right, so the first thing that's going on there is an E minor, basically an E minor chord. And it's a, a, sort of like a variation. I'm going to write the chords above so you can, you can look at those, but you know, know that it's played a little differently. So you're playing an E minor chord. <clears throat> In your left hand, you've got E's, or, or just one is fine if you can't reach both. And in your right hand, you've got a B and a G. So there's your E minor. Okay, like this. So what you want to sort of pay attention to is this left hand note and this top note in your right hand. And they're going to be moving down parallelly for, for this little piece of the song. That'll help you remember the shapes, all right? So the first two parts, ba, 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 ba. you notice I switch fingers. fingers back but so you, you move from this G to an F sharp there and everything else sort of stays where it is for the first two moves so that's a mi uh, E minor and then you're transitioning to basically an A chord all right so the way you're gonna play that A chord is to move to a um, let's see a C sharp in your left hand an A and an E in your right hand so the first sort of three moves, E minor, A major, and with your right pinky you're going to come up here and grab an A, if you can reach it. Okay, and you're going to switch to the next chord, which is a D, so D in your left hand, A, D, and F sharp in your right hand, and I sort of double up this D. To, to make the melody sort of come out. So let me show you up to that part and I'll double that D at the end there. See that part right there? All right, now the next part. You're basically playing a G and I like to roll it. You don't have to do that if you don't want to, but G, D, and G in your left hand, if you can reach all that. Otherwise, all you really need is this G. And in your right hand, B, D, and G. La, da. That's actually pretty intuitive. Da, da, da. So the next part right there that you need to jump to, and I'm jumping my whole hands like down a bunch. And let's see, yeah, my left hand is starting to be off the camera here, but don't worry about that. Just know that my left pinky is playing what my right thumb is playing, but an octave lower. So let's see, it's playing down here. So my right hand is playing E, G, and C. And basically what we've got going on here is a C chord. Look at these three notes. And then to a B minor, so the right hand moves down to, uh, it shifts, sort of, sort of shifts down. So my right thumb is playing a D, I've got an F sharp, and a B in my pinky. That's like a B minor chord. And you shift down again to an A minor chord, so C, E, and A in your right hand. It's an inversion, but it's still an A minor chord. All right, and then you finish with this little, like, um, moving part, just like a one line part, which is a B, D, B, A, G. So I'll show you a quick review of that whole intro piece. I know that's kind of involved, but that's pretty much it. So you've got this E minor to an A. It's like a walk down to an A. Ah, hit that high A. Then you've got a D, da, da, double if you want. And then G, which I roll. And then you jump down to the C, C, B minor, A minor, and then the walking part. All right, so that's the intro. From there, it goes right into um, the verse, which is we're going to call the A section, and it sounds like this. And let's just take that much, all right? So. 
the first sort of five chords, what, what you might notice if you like write these out or if you just look above is that they're like a palindrome. It's G, C, E minor, and then it's like it goes backwards, C, G, all right? Maybe that'll help you remember. So the first chord of G, um, I'm playing, again, I'm playing G, D, and G with my left hand. You don't have to play all of that. B, D, and G in my right hand. And it's, help, it's helpful to at least hear the song in your head. I don't know the lyrics, and I'm a horrible singer, but you can sing along. Da 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 da. So that da 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 switches to a C chord. C in your left hand, G, C, E, and G in your right hand. Da 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 da, or whatever the tune is. So then it moves to an E minor. E, B, and E in your left hand, or just an E if you can't reach all that. G, B, and E in your right hand. Da, 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 da. Jumps back up to a C. So it's again C in your left hand and same notes from before. Da, 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 to a G. G, D, G in your left hand, B, D, and G. And you repeat that. So that, that exact thing that you just played, you play again. Da, 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 da. I'm putting this, that walking part, I'm just going to leave it to your ears to figure out where that comes in, in between those parts, all right? All right, so that's like the first part of the verse, and then you're going to jump back into this like part that sounds a lot like the intro. Cool, right? That's like the beginning of the intro. The thing is, you're going to repeat that part again. So that first, that E minor, A, D, you repeat that part again. So it's... In the intro, you had a G to end the four chord pattern. You went right to this part, and you moved to there. But in this, in the verse, you're, you're sort of like delaying that intro. All right, so let me let me sort of just try and be clear. Clear E minor, A, D, repeat, and I'm putting that in there before I repeat. Ba, ba, and then you repeat that section. E minor, A, D. start to repeat again now the difference is now you continue with the intro pattern like it appears the first time and by going to that G hopefully that's making sense jump to the C C B minor now here's a little bit different from the intro D sus4 so D G A and D and then that resolves to a D, or this G basically just drops down to an F sharp. All right, cool. So I know that there's a lot of little tricks, but hopefully your hands will have moved through some of these um, uh, motions mostly in previous parts. It's also worth noting that in the first verse, that D sus4 to D um, happens right away. But in the second verse, the verse that is sung by Nate Roos, or however you say his name, it does a slight catch. So um, I guess we'll get to that in a second. All right. So that's that's your ver your main verse or your A section. You're then gonna move. You're then gonna move into your chorus, which sounds like this. Okay. So it's like. So what's going on there is a G chord. So I'm playing G's in my left hand, uh, D, G, and B in my right hand. Give me just a reason. Give me just a little piece of your time. That next section is a D chord. I'm playing D, A, D in my left hand, F sharp, A, D in my right hand. Piece of your time, cause we're not broken just. That's an E minor. E, B, E in your left hand. G and B in your right hand. Cause we're not broken, just bent. B minor, B's in your left hand. D and F sharp. Bent when we can learn to love again. Learn to love again. So learn to love. It's basically a C chord, and I'm throwing in a D as a transition. So the C chord, C, G, and C in your left hand. E, G, C in your right hand. We can learn to love again. 
that's like a D, D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. I'm going quickly through here because it's a big one, a little bit hard, and also I'm repeating a lot of chords, so. Learn to love again. And then that section repeats. Now the first time through the chorus, you kind of hang on this G chord. You hang on that G chord for a little while before you go back into the verse. Alright, so in that chorus you hold on to that G the first time. The second time you come to that chorus, you don't hold that G. So here's another little catch. You don't hold that G, you go right into the bridge. And we'll talk about that in a second too. Anyway, after that chorus that I just showed you, so you're getting close to knowing the stuff here, you move into the second verse, you play through that part, and you'll remember, like I told you before, um, let me just play up to that part. you go to that A minor just like you did in the in the intro not like the first verse and then you I love, I love. all right so I'm gonna play through the chorus part and just show you how it goes into the bridge the chorus sounds like this uh, oh and well and it repeats Instead of going to the G, you're going to go right into the bridge, which sounds like this. B minor, B minor, C, D, E minor, B minor, C, A minor, D sus4, D. Woo! Oh, okay. Well, I don't know why I did that last part. I'm sorry. So... <laughs> You've got, for the bridge, an E minor. So in your left hand, you can play E's. In your right hand, E, G, and B. La, 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 la. Then you go to a B minor. So B, D, F sharp. La, 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 la. Move to a C. C, E, and G. That's an easy one. And then to a D. My left hand are just, is just playing root. So whatever the name of the chord is, I'm playing that. So here I'm the D, so my left hand plays D. And my right hand, D, F sharp, A. If you can reach it, another D to fill it out there. Alright, and then you sort of, you don't repeat it exactly, but it's like a similar feel. You go into an E minor. E minor, just like before. B minor, just like before. I'm actually playing a 7, but you can play straight up. B minor, okay. So that's C. C. And then here's the tricky part. Instead of going to a D right away, you go to A minor. A minor, so that's A, E, A in your left hand. C, E, A in your right hand. And then to a D sus4. Amen. You can kind of just hear that part coming in. D's in your left hand. D, F, uh, sorry, D, G, A. Another D if you can reach it. That's your D sus4. Uh, and then you want to go to just a regular old D, so... And you just drop this G to an F sharp. D sus4, D. Cool. And that's your bridge. I know this is a lot, but stick with me. You're almost done. The end part, which is going to be the last part I'll show you. Well, basically, you go back. After that bridge, you go back into the chorus. But it's a version of the chorus because the difference is um, it's very similar to the second chorus, except instead of playing through that pattern twice, you play through it six times. So let me show you what I mean. You've got a G, D. La, 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 broken, just bent, and can learn to love again. Do, do, do. So this is the second time through. And you repeat it again. So when I played it through twice there. You re you'd really want to play it through six times on the last time you played the chorus. All right. So that's kind of like related to the end, but I'm just gonna call it like um, 
you know, the, uh, the B section and I'm going to put like, it's like a version of the B section. All right. So the, the real end, like the dry uh, end version is after those three, uh, sorry, after the chorus, you play the through the chorus like three times or basically six times of that pattern. You're going to go into this, the intro pattern, which is just. And the difference is, it's just like the intro. The end is exactly like the intro, except you play. You play a G chord at the end after that walk down. G chord is G, D, G. In your left hand, B. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, if you would like another recommendation for a video that I think you'll like, a tutorial, click on the video above me. If you want to hear the piano cover of um, this song that you just learned, click on the video that's diagonally across from me up there. And if you want to see one of my original music videos, check the video that's right across me on the bottom there. That's really it. I hope you have a great day and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.